Hello everybody, there's no therapy today, so there's no cool music montage zipping through the streets or weird conversation topics with my mum in the car. My therapist is on a course, so I get a week off from therapy, which is rare and it's kind of weird to not be at therapy, but sometimes you need a week on your own to sort of collect your thoughts and see how you can do on your own for a week without having somebody there to sort of talk everything through with. My mum has the day off today, so we're all spending it together, me and my mum Echo. My mum has just popped out to go get my grandma. My grandma has some plants for us, for our like, like a little balcony. On our French patio doors, it's, like a, it's called a Juliet balcony, which is basically like a, a rail across your patio doors. And we've got sort of like plant pots that can sort of fasten onto that. And they're very bright and very colourful. And my grandma is a bit of a gardener, and so is my mum. So my grandma's coming round to sort of pot some plants. And she says she's got a little surprise with us. And me and my mum think it's solar lights. And if you were here last week when we mentioned it, my grandma has recently become obsessed with solar lights. So when she said we have a little, I have a little surprise for you, me and my mum bet that she's bought us some solar lights. So I will definitely show you what it is that the surprise is for my grandma. I have had a bit of a crappy week. I've been walking around with an ice pack on my face. I've got the worst toothache all in my cheek up here. And I don't know if it's toothache or if it's something like glands or anything like that. Because I was at the dentist the other week and there was no problems. And then not even a week, about a week later, I've got such bad pain in this side. And I've literally got this attached to my face, different ice packs all day long, all night long, a wet flannel with an ice pack because it's so sore, eating and everything is just so hard. So we're waiting to see if it goes down before we either ring a dentist or a doctor, we're not even sure which one to go to, but it's not fun. It's really not fun. And I'm really hoping it's more doctor related because dentists absolutely suck and I hate dentists with a passion. So I would rather be doctor related than dentist related. Our neighbors move this week. Well, when you're watching this, they would have already moved. And we're so sad. They are the loveliest people on the planet and we have become really close with them and they have, they're such a lovely family. And we're absolutely gutted they're moving, but we're also happy for them. So we're really going to miss them and it's sad that they're leaving but, you know, we're happy that they're moving on to a nice house and to sort of find a place that's more suitable for them right now but it sucks that they're leaving because they really are the, the best neighbours ever and they're so lovely and so incredibly nice so we're definitely going to miss them but we'll still get to see them so that's good. So we're getting a new neighbour, we're saying goodbye to our old neighbours, which is sad, but we're also getting a new neighbour, and we'll see. But it's really sad, and we've been dreading it, it's so funny, we have been, they told us they were moving so long ago, and me and my mum have been dreading it. We have this joke with them that we were going to like, scare off potential people coming to look at their flat so that they couldn't move. Of course we wouldn't do that, but it was a sort of a running joke. And now the time's here for them to move. Obviously they're excited, but we're, we're happy for them, but we're like, mm, we wish you could stay. So hopefully we'll get to see them very, very soon. You guys know how much I love um, Arrow. And I didn't really have anything Arrow memorabilia or anything like that. And I really wanted some, so I looked on Redbubble and I found four great t-shirts and they came the other day and I'm wearing one today and I'm obsessed with it. It says, bitch with Wi-Fi. <laughs> and my family, I am basically like the IT technician. Any problem, I get called. So it's Arrow related and it fits me in this family. So... I love it, absolutely love it. Echo has been leaving his toys out lately and taking them purposely out of his toy basket and leaving them. And when in the middle of the night, because I don't sleep, I get up a lot 
and get a drink or something like that. I keep stepping on all these flipping squeaky toys. But you hide the squeaky toys at night under the soft ones. And normally they're a lot more spread out. Mum must have put them away a bit. But I keep squeaking on them and I am petrified that I am going to wake up everybody. Because as soon as I hear that squeak, as soon as you step on that squeak, you have to release your foot and it makes another squeak. And Echo comes running and it's never silent. It's never such like a really small squeak. It's got to be the loudest squeak in the planet. But I seriously, I need him to pick up after himself. I mean, he's nearly 10. Or is he 10 already? I can't remember. He should know how to pick up after himself by now. You're just covering the lens with the finger. <laughs> well, I can't hold it. What are you, 30? Yeah, it's gone really bright, Chloe. It's like a little... Tap the screen. That's better. Grab it. Yeah. <laughs> All you're going to get is you going, Chloe, I've knocked the camera off. <laughs> I think you might have zoomed in, your hands look very giant. <laughs> hey girl. You in jail? What are these ones? These are blue. So you have in the blue! Those are blue, Lavelia, that's why. That's so they'll grow blue. blue? It will grow blue. Aww, Grandma got my colour. You're very good gardening, aren't you? Were you always like this or did it get more when you got well, met Grandpa? I wasn't allowed to got a solar light this, I mean, yeah so i'll show it on the video to prove that we were right because <laughs> you've been obsessed with solar lights eh? i've always wanted some i think they're awesome i didn't know you could get some that change color that. and you turn that on they were they're only supposed to come on when it's dark yeah they charge it by the sun don't they yeah i need to get them that change color these these ones were from the pound shop a pound that's so cool! My grandma got 
as changing colour solar lights for the flower pots. Hello! <laughs> hey everyone, we finally finished gardening. We got the flower pots planted, we've got, there were solar lights that my grandma got, but they were really cool, they changed colour and they look pretty cool, so I'm really excited to see what they look like when it gets dark. And we put up the streamers, we did a bit of weeding around the gravel bit. Whew, it was tiring and it was flipping freezing outside. It was so cold. But it was good fun to have sort of a laugh with my grandma and my mum and it was really funny. We bumped into our neighbours because there's four, we have like a big block and then there's a little block and we're sort of in a little block and there's like four of us in this little block and <laughs> me, my grandma and my mum were outside. Then we spoke to one neighbour that came outside and we were chatting and then our lovely neighbours who were moving popped their head out from the window and were talking from us and it's just, it's so lovely environment this flat building and it was so much fun to just have a chat with our neighbours and spend some time with them. But it was good, I'm absolutely knackered and my mouth is killing me, it's so painful. And I am so looking forward to just laying back with a really cold ice pack and just maybe falling asleep or just doing nothing for a little while <laughs> because I'm so tired. But it was good. <laughs> Boy, that's a clever boy. Mm -hmm. 